We have the holy hand grenade. Yes, of course. The holy hand grenade of Antioch. It is one of the sacred relics Brother Maynard carries with him. The Night Owls are here to welcome you to the wonderful world of robots and holy grails, where robots are created to battle it out in a mock medieval world. Rules. Robots must create shrubbery, ambitiously defeat the Black Knight, launch dangerous holy hand grenades into the beast's lair, and, in order to prove that it is a real robot, collect the holy grail. The robot must be able to squeeze comfortably into a 1x2x1.5 by by foot box without glitching, and may only use energy provided by gravity and a limited number of actuators. And, of course, it must do this all within 40 seconds without dying dramatically. Our first design is the Night Eagle. In order to collect the Black Knight, a scooper descends towards it and lifts it, then a motor will turn to place it back in the starting zone. In order to gather the shrubs, two arms will unfold and extend towards them. The same motor will pull these arms back to gather them in our zone. To launch the holy hand grenades of Antioch into the beast slayer, we will use a pipe with a turnstile. As the beast slayer rotates, the ping pong balls will fall inside the beast slayer. And the same motor will once again safely return it from the blast zone. The other motor will be used to unwind a measuring tape, extending it towards the holy grail. It will then collapse under its own weight, which will be around the grail, and the grail will then be returned to our zone. Squire Miley uses a weight on the end of a rope to hit the Black Knight out of the team's quadrant, much like a wrecking ball. It uses breaststroke arms on rotating joints, like caster wheels, to scoop shrubbery, and also a telescoping arm to place holy hand grenades into the beast's lair. The telescoping lens egresses from the blast zone with the power of gravity through a falling brick. The Holy Grail collection would retrieve the cup by using a mousetrap catapult to lasso a string wire contraption over the grail and pull it into our section with the help of the falling brick. Sir Swallow Savvy's main design feature is it combines two tasks into one arm. The shrub T-arm is long enough to reach all the shrubs if it goes straight out while the L-shaped scooper would retrieve the Dark Knight as the arm is retracted by a motor. Meanwhile, the hand grenade telescope arm is released and slides down to the beast's lair, and a clicker sensor sends a signal every time the wall goes by for the solenoid gate at the top to release a holy hand grenade. Finally, the mouse trap at the end sends a lasso flying around the holy grail, and when the telescope arm is retracted, the holy grail is pulled into the team's zone for the win. Next we have the hug from a page. First, drawer sliders will reach downward and place a scoop ahead of the Black Knight. The scoop will then cradle the Black Knight and the drawer sliders will return to the starting zone. The two arms will drop outward and be connected by a string. The string will then contract, likely through a motor, and pull the arms inward. This will create a gentle hug around the shrubs and push them into our zone. A pipe telescope will descend toward the beast layer. Inside the pipe, a gate, which will be operated by a solenoid, will open and close in order to time the release of ping pong balls into the lair. The motor will then aggress the pipe from the black zone. And finally, we have the Holy Grail, captured again by a catapult lasso. But here, it's going to be returned as this, with the same motor as the pipe. The Village Elder uses the same arm design from last week's lab competition, with a new mousetrap orientation and the same pneumatic start, but with the bar reinforced to prevent bending. The Village Elder has a stacked ensemble for the other three tasks. On bottom, an arm shoots out to scoop and push the Dark Knight out of the team zone. In the middle is the Holy Hand Grenade Launcher, on a drawer slider arm with a PVC grenade carrier at the end. Finally, on top is the J Holy Grail Grabber, which pulls the Holy Grail into the team zone for the win. We used an evaluation matrix to determine the final design. Here, we've set the Night Eagle as the control, and it's rather easy to see that no design outweighs its benefits, at least numerically. Additionally, upon considering which criteria would be more important, possible to correct or compensate for, and necessary to avoid disqualification, the Night Eagle was still the obvious champion. And so, our champion is the Night Eagle. It was chosen for its ability to box, use of outside resources, the limited use of mouse traps, and by extension the consistency and tasks, mainly gathering shrubs and launching holy hand grenades. Thank you for listening to this presentation from Team Night Owls.